Hello and welcome our blog views to RTD's News English Edition. As usual, we'll begin today's news with the major and top highlights. Let's follow. Screening of a documentary film on the achievements of the country under the leadership of the President, Ismail Omar Gilly. The National Police celebrates the 45th anniversary of its creation. And on the international scene, Antonio Gantaras calls for the elimination of 13,000 nuclear weapons worldwide. Those were our major top highlights. Welcome back to our newsroom, our blog viewers. The screening of a documentary film on the achievements of our country under the leadership of President Ismail Omar Gilly took place yesterday, Wednesday, at the Star Cinema of Bawadi Mall. The official launch of the documentary comes at a time when our country celebrates its 45th year of independence, a period well presented in the film. The screening was attended by members of the government, headed by Prime Minister Abdul Ghadir Kamil Mohammed and many other high-level personalities. This documentary, directed by Francois, director of the redaction of Young Africa, traces the evolution of our country over the years and contains an inclusive interview with the head of state. The entirety of this documentary film will be broadcasted live on channel 1, 2, and 3 in French, Somali, and Afar this coming Saturday, June 25th. Avec un objectif à court terme de 70% quand la élection... On this day of Wednesday, June 2022, the National Police celebrated its 45th anniversary in a festive atmosphere. The ceremony, which takes place every year on June 20, 2020, was held today at the Police Academy. The Police Academy, located in Nagad, was aboard with all the colors of the celebration of the 45th anniversary of the National Police. This 45th anniversary was placed under the aegis of the Prime Minister, Mr. Abdul Ghadir Kamil Mohammed. Upon his arrival, the Prime Minister was welcomed by the Minister of Interior, Mr. Saeed Nu Hassan, the Director General of the National Police, Colonel Abdul Rahman Ali. Mr. Gen General Zakaria Sheikh Ibrahim, thereafter, the Prime Minister took the opportunity to integrate the new entrance of the Police Academy, Idris Farah Habane. The integration of this new facet of the Academy coincides with the celebration of the creation of the National Police. Attending this studio ceremony were members of the government, General Zakaria Sheikh Ibrahim, Chief of General Staff of the Djiboutian Armed Forces, the Commander of the Republican Guard, Colonel Mohammed Jama, several senior officials of the Djiboutian Armed Forces, and representatives of friendly armed forces participated in the ceremony. The blood of Hagen, the roof of Hausha, and the Ugdukato, the band of Shasari. The blood of Hagen, the roof of Hausha, and the Ugdukato, the band of Shasari. وحان أهي دوبي تبكيسة هجايا شروع ذات البكيسة دستور كإلاشا Shifting towards the international scene now, Gantiras calls for the elimination of 13,000 nuclear weapons in the world. UN Secretary General Antonio Gantiras warned Tuesday against the risk of nuclear conflict, calling for the elimination of 13,000 nuclear weapons worldwide. The UN chief was speaking in a video message to the first meeting of states parties to the Treaty of the Provision of Nuclear Weapons. By this hour, blog viewers, we conclude this edition. Thank you for being with us, and make sure to tune in later for more. Have a great day. Thank you once again.